Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. Once again, we have Monkey versus Cyber Nighty Pony on Tomb of Heroes, which has grass. So I will not need to make any terrible jokes this time about ice. Although Cyber Nighty Pony pointed out that I really should have made a reference to the Who song, Hey, You Get Off My Cloud, rather than the old man yelling someone to get off of their lawn. Oh well, I shall have to remember that the next Imperium game that Monkey plays where he runs forward with a deep proxy depot. However, we're on Tomb of Heroes where a proxy depot is going to be on grass. And thus, no joke needed. Let us begin. Monkey starting out on the east side of the map with Vekir most likely and Cybernetic Pony going for Vekir as well. So I guess Cybernetic Pony does play Vekir as well as he's on Grekum. I just don't see him play Vekir as much as the other two. Monkuki has not yet chosen Vekir, but he will. So I'll get back to Monkuki once he chooses his Vekir. And Cybernetic Pony is getting up economy as usual. Very much a late game player Cybernetic Pony is, or mid to late game player. Really wants to make sure he has the economic lead before running into anything too major militarily. And with Vekir, that's an especially good idea. Although, admittedly, later version, most recent versions have made us that Vekir aren't quite so hooped if they do lose units. But still, you never want to lose units, you don't have to. And you always want to have as much economy as you can, so hey. That's what Cybernetic Pony does, and he does it well. So Monkuki just setting up his early economy, while Cybernetic Pony is setting up his... Well, foundation for a depot at the 146 mark. Once again, another early depot. The typical timing is around 3 minutes, but... Notice it's been coming up fairly early in some cases. I mean, this is just the foundation for the depot, which is not a bad idea to have, because the foundation itself, good for healing, good for the Zion Veer in case Monkuki comes into attack. Cyber Nighty Pony is well set up to defend. While Monkuki has started has decided to push forward a bit more lightly than usual. Keeping his Zion Veer at home, moving the Teth and Shin Veer forward, and going for a foundation rush with them, but probably not actually going to be a sincere foundation rush. Probably gonna echo that out. But still gonna scout out Super Cyber Nighty Pony is up to because Cybernetic Pony, being that he's not necessarily playing CISO, means that Monkuki needs to scout it out. Cybernetic Pony is getting a depot at the more typical timing, around three minutes in. Nothing wrong about that, getting likely a couple Zion Pulsers off that. While scouting out Monkuki at the three minute mark, Monkuki, however, back at the one minute mark, about halfway to Cybernetic Pony's base, but does jump to the three minute mark to see what Cybernetic Pony is up to and knows that Cybernetic Pony is going for back gear as well. Monkuki, as we saw before, however, was not likely to go for a Sincere Foundation Rush. And the second Foundation is up. Cybernetic Pony likely to be setting up Quick Air from the looks of it with that extra Foundation, though it could just be a Foundation for healing once again. But still, he's set up for Air or for Slipgate, whichever one he decides to go for first. While Monkuki, on the other hand, I think he might be lagging out, actually. Just give, Judging by his behavior, I think he might be having some lag issues, or might have had lag issues in the game proper. This is a replay, of course, but... In the original game, that's what I'm guessing, just given the way he's been playing so far. Anyway, minute 30, Cybernetic Pony and Monkey do encounter each other on this next iteration, and looks like Cybernetic Pony is going to win out. Just barely, but Monkey did not get lucky on the shots. Cybernetic Pony's units were already in place, they did not need to move into position to fire, and that's always advantageous in this game. Cybernetic Pony getting a Zion Pulsar up. No further Zion Pulsars being built so far, just the one. And more Q Plasma RPs. I think Cybernetic Pony is going to either go for a quick Gay Tech or quick Air units. It's gone 5 and 4 so far compared to Monkuki, who. Well, okay, Monkuki can't really be compared to. He's 2 minutes down and hasn't really built up this far into the, pre into the future. Center battle going on, nothing major. Units just marching to their deaths, as they so gladly do repeatedly, over and over. Endless war there. Well, endless repetition of that battle. I not really end. This will fall off the timeline sooner or later. However, Cybernetic Pony does not have any more vehicles. He has this Zion Pulsar, and from his point of view, he's won with it. But of course, Monkuki has five minutes to respond to that, and he will likely will. Although, how he'll do so has yet to be seen. Probably get a Zion Pulsar of his own or a Zion Turcher of his own. Monkuki really enjoys Zion Turchers, which leads me to believe that he'd likely go for that. So. Cybernetic Pony is setting up Halcyon class. Wow, really early Halcyon class. Okay, never mind. That's what he was going for. 
I guess Zion Halcyon. Probably not going to go for Teth Halcyon. Probably just Zion Halcyon. Basically try to out-health Monkuki's forces. And Cyberney Pony... This is second iteration on this attack, which Monkuki has not yet dealt with. Jumping back to the 216 mark, we see Monkuki is going for Q-Plasma, which means he's likely to get vehicles his... Well, actually, his own foundation hasn't been set up yet. While he's likely to get his own vehicles, he is not yet made any moves to do so. Made no progress in building the foundation or building a depot or anything like that. He has an extra four minutes, so he's fine, but... Or no, two minutes from when he is now. See, that is... Well, maybe not. Looks like Cyber Pony has, in fact, lost the Zion, Zion Pulsar, ultimately. Monkuki does have something prepared for this, then. We'll see what it is, but he hasn't quite gone up to that position yet. That the... Roughly the 330 mark, or 315 mark, is when an attack comes in. So he's probably going to just kill something. Not sure how, we will see. And apparently, no, not even then. Cyber Pony just... Ah, that sucks. One thing I kind of wish I could jump around in a non-propagating fashion, but I've tried that before with replays. It tends to just screw them up. It's really not worth it. Anyway, Cybernetic Pony does manage to get some damage in, but does lose the Zion. He loses the Zion Pulsar to a Zion Veer. Actually, to a pair of Zion Veer. And now Monkuki has got his preparations up. He has his foundation. Going to get that into a depot right now. And going to get his... Vehicles to respond to this as well, but like we see, Cybernetic Pony does have Halcyon class. He has specials on top of that. Is he going to go for Nanite Infect? I mean, he could. He, he actually could with Zion Halcyon. Oh, sorry, not Nanite Infect. Calm Jam. Nanite Infect is Shin Halcyon. But Zion Halcyon, he could, go for, he could go for a Calm Jam, and I think he might be doing exactly that. He, we'll see. He just about had the money for Zion Halcyon before he jumped away. So Monkuki back at the 323 mark. Getting his foundation up while Cybernetic Pony up at the 7 minute mark has basically won from his point of view. And there is a Zion Halcyon indeed going down the south side of the map. Just double checking to see if Cybernetic Pony has built up and Monkuki is preparing to build up some economy. Sorry. If Monkuki is built up, Cybernetic Pony is preparing to build up economy in the south side of the map. But apparently not before he gets gate tech. Judging by his economy. We'll see though. Monkuki on the other hand at the 4 minute mark is setting up a Zion Pulsar of his own. Getting skip teleport and has a Shinbeer in place in case he wants to get Arians quickly, I suppose. He hasn't moved that out for extra foundations, so I can only think of it as either being there for extra firepower or being there for further air units. At any rate, doesn't much matter though, because at the five minute mark in this iteration, Cybernetic Pony does get an attack in. Though Monkey will have a Zion Pulsar in place, but actually will he? Judging, judging at Cybernetic Pony's point of view, it looks like that. Zion Pulsar was not built on this iteration. So Monkuki will have an advantage. The blue timer will carry a bit of a change, and Cybernetic Pony will have to contend with an equal. Well, Zion Pulsar will have to contend with its equal. Though Zion Halcyon is still coming up behind that, or will soon be. Or would soon be. Would have been, but it looks like Cybernetic Pony is not actually bothering. There's no construction on the timeline that would indicate a Zion Halcyon anymore. So it looks like he is no longer going for the Zion Halcyon. Instead, he is going to... Well, we'll see. Can't really speculate. Zion Halcyon seemed like the most likely thing. Though Monkuki expanding to the north. Rather difficult to see on the minimap, so I nearly missed that. But yes, Monkuki is expanding to the north. Cybernetic Pony is not himself expanding to the north. He was expanding more to the south. And Monkuki does have a Teth Veer just hanging out here by Cybernetic Pony's natural expansion to see what's going on. And there is the Zion Halcyon. Okay, so... I guess... Wait, what? Oh yeah, there's a Zion Halcyon. Okay, that Zion Halcyon was built already. That's why there was something for it. Had not yet been built. So, or sorry, had already been built. Anyway, Cybernetic Pony. Now he's a bit more aware of what Monkuki has and unable to really deal any damage. He closes up a few resource process. No, doesn't even close up the resource processors. Or just barely, actually. Rather, Monkuki closes up his own resource processors by accident thanks to splash damage. So right now, Cybernetic Pony is dealing most of his damage by basically being close to Monkuki stuff when the splash goes off. Not the best way, I suppose, but it can work. And Cybernetic Pony's expansion attempts have been found out that Monkuki's going to lose the Teth Veer before dealing any meaningful damage, but still, that Zion Veer has been spotted, the expansion attempt has been spotted, or at least the likely expansion attempt. And Zion Halcyon now has skipped teleport. With skip teleport, it will be very scary. And right now, Monkuki is not well equipped to deal with this. However, 
Monkuki is not even there right now. He is actually a minute down at the 633 mark. Where is his Zion Pulsar? Or he had a couple Zion Pulsars, and it looks like... No, that's the battle we just saw with the Death of Year. Ah, one of them is over by the northwest side of the base, and the other one... Well, actually... Okay, it's defending on the northeast side of his own base. So Monkuki looks like he's just about to jump in on an edge attack. There it is! There's the edge attack! And he is dealing quite a bit of damage, though Cybernetic Pony had enough stockpile to build up what he had already been planning to build up. Still, that's a bit of a pain, but Cybernetic Pony has the advantage, and it looks like Monkuki is just about to save his Zion Pulse. We're going to skip it away, and away it goes, but not in time! Gets intercepted by the Tethvir and Shinvir. The starting Tethvir and Shinvir just happened to be in position. Looks like Monkuki's going to try a different teleport. No, he's not even going to try a different teleportation path. Loses his Zion Pulsar. Perfect interception there by Cybernetic Pony's forces. I have never seen that happen before, but that was cool. So yeah, nicely done. These two units. Stars the show right now. But still, that is just one Zion Pulsar. The other Zion Pulsar can still come in. The Zion Halcyon, however, has not yet jumped in. There it goes. Cybernetic Pony is sending that in. And that is going to be... We're stealing damage too. It hasn't quite hit anything yet. Ah, there it goes. Jumping into the base. Monkuki's gonna have to deal with this. This is at the unplayable past edge too, so dealing with this is going to be tricky. We have the Zion Halcyon moving in, and Shin Tercher up, but Zion Halcyons are very powerful against air as ground. They're actually Oh never mind. They're not that powerful against air. They can hit air, but they're not as powerful as they are against ground. Nowhere near. Factor of three and a half, but still. If he actually jumps this away from the Shin Tercher, it could work out pretty well. Especially given that he can survive the Zion Pulsars pretty well. Unfortunately, the Zion Pulsar is very close to Monkuki's base. Cybernetic Pony is making a major error here by attacking Monkuki in his own base. Zion Halcyon not quite enough, and Com Jam not available. I mean, Com Jam's just. Oh, just ran out. Almost had the chance to Com Jam. If he had managed to pull that off, I don't know if Cybernetic Pony has forgotten about Com Jam, but if he managed to pull that off, that would have been really problematic for Cybernetic Pony. Sorry, for Monkuki. But Cybernetic Pony didn't quite manage to do that. That was a lot of resources just basically thrown away. Two more Zion Halcyons, however, coming over. And Mongui with Gatek with the Slipgate. Slipgate is just about done. 75% done. It'll be about 20 seconds left, but once that is done, Mongui will likely, knowing him, use that to teleport. He might use it to Coronaport, but he... I'm pretty sure he usually uses it to teleport, but we'll see. Coronaporting right now wouldn't be a bad idea, and he has the Q-Plasma for it. Looks like Mongui is paused. He... Well, he's acting like he's going to Coronaport. He hasn't actually done that yet, though, but he is definitely act behaving as if a Coronaport is imminent. We'll see, though. It looks like no such thing is going to happen. In fact, Cybernetic Pony will have to deal with a teleported in Shin Tercher, though Zion Halcyon should be able to deal with it without too much issue with... If it gets a bit of help. It needs a bit of help. If a Teth Viewer could come in, or a Teth Pulsar or something could come in to help deal with this... Or Teth Halcyon, although admittedly that's more of a glass cannon now in this patch, but that would still help. Anyway, Zion Halcyon should jump in and calm jam. I don't even know if there's time. Monkuki has not chronoported yet. Monkuki still not yet chronoported. This slipgate is up, however, and Teth Searchers are up as well. It looks like Monkuki is getting raid with an army to chronoport with, and no, still pause, not quite yet. Looks like he's waiting for the unplayable pass to edge. Once that comes in, it's close though, and. There he goes, he's... Well, okay, not quite. Okay, there it is. This is the Chronoport. No, not... What the? What is he pausing for, then? Normally, that sort of pause is a pre-Chronoport pause. But Cybernetic Pony jumping from his point of view... Actually, let's just not, because Cybernetic Pony is very close, and I want to just go through instant replay right now. He is not calm jamming, surprisingly enough. Actually, jumping from Cybernetic Pony's point of view, he is, in fact, retreating with the Zion Halcyon, surprisingly not skipping it in. But he is retreating. He should probably actually retreat down here to his expansion to protect this. And that is, in fact, exactly what he's... Well, not quite. He is marching... He's driving over there, but not skipping. Why is this Zion Halcyon not being ordered to skip? That, does that really point to forget that his units have skipped teleport? Like, all of them? He has gate tech of his own. His slip gate has been built, or is on the last legs of being constructed. And Monkuki, there's the chronoport I was looking for. Chronoporting back a couple of these Zion Pulsars from the looks of it. Though, it was a little hard to tell. It looks like it was a couple Zion Pulsars and the... Well, let's see if the Teth Searcher does go back. I'm not 100% sure if it will. 
The expansion in the north, by the way, is very well developed, too. And it looks like Monkey is actually sending an expansion to the northwest as well! Right in Cybernetic Pony's side yard, or right beside Cybernetic Pony. But Cybernetic Pony has not even bothered to stop that. I'm not sure if he's aware of it. He might be. He would have seen the Zion Veer walk in. Or crawl in, rather. But I don't know. However, the Southwest has been destroyed. Monkuki has gotten rid of it. Cybernetic Pony not even able to get rid of the Zion Pulsar. And this Zion Halcyon has just gone off out of position, leaving Monkuki's base open. And Cybernetic Pony has not yet used Calm Jam, which I don't know why else he would have gotten specials. He just now got the capa he just got the capacity for air units. He does have Teth Halcyon. He doesn't have Zion Halcyon. Sorry, he does have Zion Halcyons. He doesn't have Shin Halcyons for Nanite Infect. I don't know if he'd actually use Nanite Infect, but... Okay, so pointing pointing out, Teth Searcher does stop... Teth Searcher does stop Calm Jam, but five minutes ago, there were no Teth Searchers. There were only Shin Searchers, and only one of them at that. So while the Teth Searchers do stop Calm Jam, that wasn't relevant the first time as a Zion Halcyon entered Monkuki's base. Five minutes ago. And I mean, like, five, eight chrono minutes ago. It's like seven minutes in the game. That's... It was somewhere around that area, maybe even earlier. At that point, there was nothing to stop it. A Calm Jam would have gone off without a hitch. That's more what I meant. Now, yeah, now it's too late. Now the Teth Church is just going to get in the way. And there is a Chronoported Zion Halcyon to protect Cybernetic Pony's base from the Chronoported Zion. There we go. Zion Pulsars were Chronoported back. Oh, major Chrono Warfare is going on now. Monkuki has sent back a couple Zion Pulsars and. Cybernetic Pony has sent back a Zion Halcyon. Or at least he tried to. Looks like it arrived, but the departure's not there. I think... Is Cybernetic Pony trying to permaclone that thing? I don't think so. I think that might be a mistake. He probably isn't trying to permaclone it. In fact, he's not at all. He didn't... His slipgate got undermined. Unfortunately for it, now we're in Paradox City. That's what's happening. Because that slipgate got undermined by the loss of the cube plasma. Cybernetic Pony didn't manage to build it, apparently. Surprisingly, actually. Didn't seem to run out of enough... No, he has enough in the bank to build his slipgate. Not sure what happened there. Maybe another vehicle got constructed and that got in the way. However... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't quite look like it. Anyway... The... Well, looks like... The Zion Halcyon has been constructed, and the slipgate has not. For whatever reason, stuff getting in the way, or stuff... I don't know. Either stuff getting in the way or not lack of funds, that's for sure. Must have been something obstructing the Slipgate construction location. That's the only thing I can think of. Because right now, Cybernetic Pony is actually going to be okay. It looks like Monkuki was beaten off. He was beaten by the Teth Halcyons. And the Teth Halcyon was not chronoported. It was just built. So it's really not a big deal. That's going to survive. However, the Slipgate Foundation has gone completely down. Cybernetic Pony... Losing that on top of just losing the slipgate in the first place, and losing a lot of his base as well. So, how, geez, Halcyon class is not doing him any favors right now. Even with the Teth Halcyon, it's just not working out. Oh, I see. Cybernetic Pony option selects his construction, so... Or apparently tries to. So I guess if the gate doesn't happen, then other stuff happens, which is a good idea. We're seeing Cybernetic Pony's point of view in the unplayable past. He actually is building up... Well, his building community is already built up, so I'm not sure how that works, but according to the chat, he does he does do option select on his construction. Which, actually, I probably shouldn't even call it option selecting because I doubt a lot of people watching this know what I mean by that, but basically it means setting yourself up so that the computer chooses what option is works for you as opposed to you choosing it. Right? Circumstances of the game decide what happens rather than your own inputs. Or rather, your own inputs could allow for either situation. Used in fighting games a lot, but... Akron is one of the few RTS games where it's actually applicable. Because you can option select. You can have, as we see, well, potentially see here with Cybernetic Pony, where if the gate doesn't get built, then other stuff would get built, but it gets blocked off because there's not enough resources, but then if the gate doesn't get built, then there are enough resources. Because then that happens. So, yeah. Oh, Gate Tech! That's what happened. Gate Tech got completely screwed over. That was the problem. Cybernetic Pony never ultimately researched it, and thus never got the slipgate, but did get units instead because he had those options selected. However, that is beside the point, because Monkuki has... Actually, his main base completely dry, but he still has an expansion in the northeast, while Cybernetic Pony has his main base almost completely dry, and no further expansions. In fact, Cybernetic Pony is rather in a tight spot right now. Monkuki with the slipgate 
with a lot of economy, with enough RPs, just need to teleport these RPs somewhere useful, but once he does that, he will have no problems whatsoever dealing with Cybernetic Pony. Cybernetic Pony getting torn apart in the unplayable past. I don't think there's any easy way for him to get out of this. He does have three Zion Halcyons. That is his one asset right now. He has the three Zion Halcyons. There are a few Ted Searchers in the main base, and attacking the main base directly would be an iffy prospect. But still, the Zion Halcyons... No, they don't gate-tech either. And in fact, Cybernetic Pony is low on power. With minus two power, he's running out of energy on these Zion Halcyons. He needs more foundations. He needs... Well, he could use Slipgate. But he needs more foundations. That's the thing. Because at this point, he has no energy. I mean, Calm Gem's out of the question. Slip, skip Teleport would also be out of the question if he purchased them for these units. I don't think he has. No, he has not. They do not have, None of them have Skip Teleport. So at least they're not losing out on that. But still... Okay, there's a foundation. Power being restored. Cybernetic Pony finally getting his power back. Finally getting his energy region back on these units. But it's going to take too long for them to be regening in time for Calm Jam. 50 energy. That's not going to be there. However, a direct attack is coming in here. And Monkey looks like he's chronoporting back more units. Does have a couple of Zion Halcyons of his own being chronoported back. And that will be sent directly into Cybernetic Pony's base to deal with it. Finish it off. And back of the 1822 mark, Cybernetic Pony is coming with his own Zion Halcyons. However, this is after the Corona Port. There isn't anything Cybernetic Pony can easily do to Monkuki to destroy those Zion Halcyons before they attack his base and ultimately destroy it. Cybernetic Pony is basically done in this game. I don't think there's anything he can really do. We'll see, though. There might He might have some trick up his sleeve, but I kind of doubt it. There's not much he has economically working for him. He has no RPs. He has a small base. He has no money for RPs. He has to kill everything with these three Zion Halcyons and no Corona Porting. Killing the Slipgate would be favorite right now, although even then, I don't know if that's going to work. And Cybernetic Pony does... He does run into Teth Torture, which is not going to last too long. However, that will distract from destroying the rest of the base. And Monkuki is going to have enough time here. I mean, more than enough time. The Slipgate really just gives you all the time in the world. Monkuki is easily going to take advantage of that. And... Cybernetic Pony jumping back and noticing his entire base being ripped apart by Zion Halcyons. And his own Zion Halcyon trying to do what he can, but not enough. However, three of the Zion Halcyons still going into Monkuki's base. And that is going to be too much. There isn't really anything that Monkuki can do to lose this game. Cybernetic Pony is out. Monkuki has won. We're very nearly. I mean, still there's the main base. Still there's the fact that Cybernetic Pony is trying to take out as much as he can of, Mon of Monkuki's base. And Monkuki is about to lose his depot, actually. Depot taking a fair amount of damage, but still, this, is this Shin Torture going down to Monkuki and the Zion Halcyons are finishing everything else off, so even the depot doesn't go down, and Cybernetic Pony has basically lost this game. I mean, it's hard to say... No, it's not hard to say at all. He has lost his game. He's jumping back to the unplayable past, double-checking to make sure he has, in fact, lost, and yes, he has, in fact, lost. Mon Cookie's point of view really shows it as well. So yeah, that was the game, and I hope you enjoyed that very intense Chrono Warfare, but unfortunately, Cybernetic Pony did lose Gate Tech, and that pretty much lost him the game. Bit of an unfortunate turn for him, but that's how it goes. So we'll be back with another game, which will be between Monkuki and Gode. On, once again, Tomb of Heroes, because that is the map. That is the map people play. I'm glad people enjoy the map, but... Same, that's map people play a lot. So stay tuned, be back in a moment.